This video is on Chapter 9, Using Mail and Social Features. It is not intended to take the place of reading the chapter or reviewing presentations. Emailing requires an internet connection by an organization network or network provider. You also need an email account with an ISP. Most email providers allow access of email through webmail or an internet browser. This provides the user the ability to access from any location. Windows 8 includes a mail app from download.live.com. You can also sign in to home.live.com to retrieve your email. The mail app does almost everything that most mail will do and works with the people app that allows you to store and retrieve recipient information. This email app is designed to work with multiple email accounts. Sent emails can contain text and other digital content. The message header contains the recipient subject, date sent, and sender. Note that resolution can make a difference in the way the application looks on your screen. So yours may not look exactly like mine when you get started doing the tasks. High and low priority settings should be used judiciously. It is kind of like crying wolf. If you use it every time, eventually people ignore that it's high priority. You can also choose to know when someone has read your message. Always include an appropriate descriptive subject. The message body can be sent in plain text as well as HTML formatted. Emoticons can be added since the person can't see your face or body language. You want to be careful to not overuse emoticons. You can attach files if needed. Just be careful of size of files as some internet providers do have a limitation on the size of attachments. Avoid sending an executable file as some of those are screened because they may contain viruses. It's always a good idea to mention that you're attaching something in the message body. When you are checking your messages, the attachments do not download for security reasons until you click on them. Again, do not click on attachments unless you know the person and even then we're expecting them. You can use the message pane to preview and open messages. You can respond in three ways, reply, reply all, or forward. Sometimes if you click reply all, this gives you an idea of who, who was sent the message, unless it was a blind copy. When forwarding messages, only forward messages that are not private in nature. Consider carefully what you are forward, forwarding as to the appropriateness. Make adjustments to the to CC and always include a message of your own above the quoted message. New to Windows 8 is the Share Charm. Apps can be enabled to participate in the Share Contract. The Mail app works with the Share Contract to, to share with others participating. This can be faster, more secure way to share with known contacts. So from your from your charms, you can click on share, and you have to select content and an email message in order to share. You can share a screenshot. You can share a mail or you can share a link to an app uh, in the store. Filing and viewing messages. Email can quickly get clogged just as your desk can get cluttered with paperwork. Outlook, Live.com, Hotmail, and Gmail accounts all allow you to create folders. Folders help you organize email messages and keep better track of messages just as you would in a file cabinet. It can also help you search for previous messages better. 
When adding subject lines to messages, always consider keywords that would help you search the message in the future. It's not a good idea to put messages in a folder until you have completed any action item needed in the email. Normally what you would do is leave that in your inbox until you have completed the items. Junk mail, including those you've signed up for, can sometimes clog up your email box. It's a good idea to unsubscribe from those you no longer wish to receive to avoid this. Some messages may be flagged by your junk email filter, also known as a Microsoft Smart Screen. These may be put in a junk folder. It's not a bad idea to check this occasionally to be sure mail you didn't intend to is caught by the spam filter. Most of those you are expecting an email from will mention that to you so you can add them to your list of OK receivers. If you move an email to the junk mail, it will set up that as a rule for the next time and place it there for you. And here's the junk mail. and spam. If you no longer need a message, you can delete it from the inbox. If you accidentally delete a message, you can move it back to a folder or the inbox. To permanent delete, permanently delete a message, you need to delete it from the deleted messages folder. Windows 8 apps allows for the use of the devices charm to print from the mail app. Consider carefully before printing a mes message. It isn't necessary to print all messages. In Windows 8, there is, an, a, people, there is a People's app that is your contact app. The People app can be connected to your social media accounts. To quickly add, it's easy to remove these contacts as the social media icon displays when you are connected to these, those contacts. You can easily view, change, or delete individual contacts. Right-click the People menu and choose the Edit command if you see something that needs to be changed. You can also end up with duplicate contacts if you connect to social media. The Calendar app On the Start screen, just click the Calendar tile. It automatically creates a separate calendar for each of your email accounts. My computer that I'm working on right now is, is fairly new, and so it's asking to add those. Color coding is used to separate the, the entries. From the Settings charm in the Calendar app, you can click Accounts, then add an account to create a calendar for an email account. Click on the correct date to add an appointment to your calendar. The view of the calendar can be changed to weeks, days, weeks, or months. Events can be deleted by right-clicking on the date. The calendar automatically syncs with your online account as well as automatically adds U.S. holidays. You can also add people to, connect, to attend the event and send them an invite. The cha this chapter has provided you with numerous efficient tasks to work in the mail app as well as the calendar app. Use them to make yourself more productive. End of this video.